friends and welcome to more fidget toy mystery box unboxing more specifically the fidget 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 fashion dang it i was like i got this fashion fidgets are we good now did i get it fashion fidgets there we go try to say that five times fast for those of you who don't know fashion fidgets are dolls that are also fidget toys in a previous video we unboxed nine of these mystery boxes and we got i think four or five out of the actual collection so there's still a couple that we have yet to find after the first unboxing of the first set i was surprised that these were actually made in collaboration with mrs bench the viral tiktoker and she's like jacket i'm gonna send you some i was like are you sure she's like yeah i want to send you some more and let everyone know that it's available on amazon too i'm like okay so we have this that is a collaboration with one of my favorite fidget toy tiktoker and it has easily become a friend of the channel too but that hasn't stopped me from being honest with my review and what i think could work and what can be improved on let me know in the comment section below which one of the previous set did we unbox that was your favorite you can see them all here in front of you let's freeze frame and let's put some numbers right on top of them so that you can decide in the comments which ones are your faves and while you're down there letting me know what your favorite is if you haven't subscribed yet, we do have sharp pointy things. I do like to wave them at you. Click on all notifications while you're there. All right, so we do have nine more. Let's just... And we're gonna move them just... just hang on, give me a second. We're just gonna move them to the side here. Just, just hang on, we got this. There. And here we go, fashion fidgets. Okay, I got it this time. <laughs> you think you could win against me, fashion fidgets? I said it wrong again. <laughs> Once we open the first one, I'll let you know which ones we are missing. And yes, I absolutely love the fact that we do have representation within these dolls. The thing I wish the most was that each one had its own special thing instead of being a copy of each other. But then again, that's just my opinion. Let's see what we get inside. All right, so here is the little magazine of all the different kinds of dollies that we can get. And in the previous video, we had Glam Gina, which I was pretty upset about because the alliteration just didn't work. It was Glam, and I said Gertha because we needed a g, g sound. And so many of you put in the comments different names. You're like, what about Gloria? I was like, yeah, that's true. I don't know why it didn't pass through my head. <laughs> but all right, let's go ahead and see our first figurine. And I am pretty sure we got her. Could be wrong, though. So this one here is basically kind of like a controller, that little analog type of shifting. This one actually feels better than the previous ones. Okay, this one has way more range of motion. I like this better. And then the faces, they do be clicking. And the hearts actually click better than the stars on the faces, cuz... Oh wait, we never, we didn't get any of the circle faces, nor the rectangular ones. We only got stars and hearts. Okay, so we're definitely missing quite a few. But yeah, you have clicker. You have also the spinning. And we have the poppets. So let's see how this one sounds. Let's get, oh my gosh, slippery. Let's just get three of them and let's hear it. Yes. Yes. So this one is adorable. Now I did complain that I wasn't a huge fan of this. So none other than Mrs. Bench herself, let me know in the comments that you can actually remove the charms if they are annoying. So I'm like, wait a minute, that is so true. Hang on, yeah, cause you see, they kind of just get in the way unless you're gonna put them somewhere. But yeah, you can, there you go. Now that's my thing, there you go. Can you stand? Yes, you can. Very nice. So yeah, if you are not a fan of these charms, they can be easily removed. Thank you, Mrs. Bench. <laughs> but yeah, she's still cute. I don't remember my rating, so I'm gonna go ahead and give her. My only annoyance here is actually that the hands are kind of in the way. But as usual, the quality of these figurines are absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna give her a 7.8. Let's take a moment to appreciate that each one of these figurines comes with heart-shaped bubble mail. Look at that. Oh, yes. I like these a lot. Now these boxes 
are not exactly the most gracious to open. So a company called Wowie, you got some working to do on these boxes. Cause look here, they just break. Oh, you're gonna prove me wrong now. You're gonna prove me wrong. You watch the entire of last video cause this was kept happening. And now you're working? Oh, there you go. You son of a biscuit. You almost proved me wrong. You almost did. I was gonna be proud of you though. I'm okay to be wrong. But yeah, you don't need to go all the way. And do we get a new one? <gasps> we get a new one. Oh my God, finally. We get the character with the short hair. So let's see our little one. Who are you? These ones are a little scarier though, I have to say. I don't know if it's about the proportion of the head to the eyes. Who are you, little one? You are Dapper Dale. Okay, Dapper Dale. And since Dapper Dale is a pretty bright color, let's go ahead and put a piece of felt. Yeah, there's something about Dapper Dale that kind of reminds me of these porcelain dolls that are kind of freaky. Not crazy about the look on that one. But Dapper Dale does have some bling around here. Oh, what? What? Okay, 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 let's explore Dapper Dale. That came out wrong. <laughs> let's get to know Dapper Dale a little better. Okay, so there's quite a few things happening here. Let's see if this one makes any sound. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh my god. Yes. I was really hoping that this wasn't just, I have goosebumps right now, legit. So I was hoping that this wasn't going to just be, you know, the ones that turn without any sound. The fact that it has a good resistance, yes. Oh, it feels good. The resistance is perfect. Yes, Dapper Dale, I like you so far. Let's hear the clicks on the face. Okay, it's good. We have enough surface to get some good clicks. Very nice. Now we have a ball here. What does this do? Oh, so this is the one that actually turns and it has texture? Oh, look at the money! There's a little money symbol, cute! You don't feel the texture as much, but it does give you this quiet kind of place. So if you want to be a little bit more obnoxious, you have that option. If you want to be quieter, it's kind of like a worry stone. It's nice. It feels really, really good. That is really nice. Okay, and then we have a bit more of a spinning here. It doesn't spin much, but it is there. So you could kind of also spin it this way quietly, or you could just kind of push it. But don't think of it as a fidget spinner because it doesn't have much of a spin to last long. Okay, Dapper Dale. This one doesn't push in, by the way, so only these. And nothing under the legs or feet, but I like this a lot. I love the fact that these double not just as fidget toys, but also figurines that you can put on your desk. And charms, of course, if you want to put them on any of your bays. I didn't know I would like, like, other than Dapper Dale's face. I quite enjoy this specific fidget toy. So I'm gonna give this one hmm, an 8.5. Definitely my favorite. I like that. Oh yeah. Because nothing is in the way of anything other than this, but that can be removed. You're up there, Dapper Dale. Our next one. Oh no. No, 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 no. Not another double. This is the same one we just got. Or is it? No, no, it's not. See, that's what I'm saying is that they look so similar in terms of design that they kind of lose their personality. So I would really love the representation to have their own thing to make them their unique character. But okay, this one is called Outfit of the Day Ollie. Quite a long name. <laughs> I'm going to guess Ollie is going to give us the same thing. Let's go ahead and hear. Yes. Very nice, let's hear the clicks. Very nice, very good. And the spinnies, yep, pretty similar. And the spinning up here, yep, about the same thing. So that's the thing is, I wish there was more variety in each of these. And I'm pretty sure if they make a series two, they're gonna take a lot of these things in consideration. Next. We have a new one. Don't panic. I think we finally got the newest one yet. There we go. I'm gonna. Oh, oh, okay. Is this broken? 
Okay, let's just remove the charm because the charm do be getting in my way because I got them sausage fingers and when you got sausage fingers, you got to make sure that you have as much space as possible to make your thing. There we go. She's cute. Oh, I really want to pull on these, but not yet. Hang on. And her name is Brilliant Brie. Like the cheese. I like Brie cheese. Kind of like stinky cheese, actually. You know the blue cheese? I really am a huge fan of blue cheese. Let me know if you hate it in the comment section. Wait, it's not her. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It's not her, is it? No, it's not. See, that's what I'm saying. They look so similar. Street Style Sally. This is her. Okay, we can cross her out. I'm curious if we're gonna be able to get all of them. All right, so here we go, street style Sally. First, let's start with the monkey noodles. Let's see how well they pull. Very nice. Oh no, yeah, this one's definitely torn. Oh no. So this one definitely has a little bit of a tear right here. Because in the previous ones, they were actually held on really well. So I'm surprised this has happened, but these things do happen. But yeah, the previous ones really had a really good grip. So look at that. You see, you could pull without any issues. Here, let's remove the felt. Very nice. But yeah, this is a little bit of a lemon. There you go, this is out. That's too bad. Then here we have a spin, not too bad, and you can spin it with one hand as well if you want. Yeah, not too bad. I'm really disappointed at this one though. Must have been a factory problem. And then we have the puppets over here. Let's go ahead and push a couple down and let's hear them. Yes. Yes, and very nice. Okay, the poppets are good, and here we have circle for the first time. Let's hear the clicks. Yep, pretty good. I would have to say the least best click has got to be by far the stars. And no other twists or pushes or anything else. I have to say she's not my favorite design, so I'm gonna give her... like a 6 on 10. And because it is defective, obviously it'll be bumped down to a 0. But then again, this is one of the rare ones. And I'm sure if you ever get a defective one, just contact Wowie and let them know and they'll they'll send you a new one. I don't know. I've never dealt with this company before <laughs> directly. But hey, you might as well try. Especially that these dolls are pretty expensive. In my previous set, I paid I think over $130 for these mystery fidget toy boxes. So, they ain't cheap. By the way, I wanted to be very clear. Just because I'm rating them, it doesn't mean I don't appreciate receiving them. Mrs. Bench has always appreciated my honest review, and especially the quality of these are absolutely phenomenal. Yes, they are a premium product, but it doesn't stop the fact that there are things that could be improved, just like in any other product. All right, I feel like we've gotten this one before. Yes, we have. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I think she was even the first one we actually opened in the first unboxing, right? No. So this one is Trendy Tina, and this one I believe is called Fancy Nancy. Yes, Fancy Nancy. And she does have quite a bit to offer, especially if I remember correctly. Let's push these poppets in, and let's pop them. Yep. These are so satisfying. I love this. And we have the clicks on the cheeks. These ones are the stars. So let's click. So you see, it doesn't click as hard. Whereas if we take Ollie, for example, the click, quiet, and a lot more. So definitely her star clicks need work. And then down here, we had some really fun movement. However, because her hand is in the way, luckily they are flexible. You can actually go ahead and do this. Same thing with the other hand, it's kind of in the way really annoying, especially I believe that if you're gonna do this, you're going to be using your thumb. So it does feel good, but the hands are in the way, so it does add that extra bit of annoyance. Does she have anything in the back of her head? No. So she has three things to fidget with. Let's double check, nothing else around the body. So yeah, I would say the hand is definitely in the way. But listen to them poppets, oh my god. Here we go again. Very nice. Now I really hope we get another one of the ones like this that have the monkey noodles in the back and this time not broken because I really want to see how they feel when both of them are there. Yes, maintain eye contact. This is quite the journey. And I'm, I'm not even gonna try. Let's just go through this. There we go. Please, no! Well, we haven't gotten this one yet. This is actually pretty good. There we go. And similarly to the other one, we do have the poppets, like so, let's hear it. 
Not bad at all. We have the clicks. Nice sound. Very, very nice. And then here we have the clicker, which is not in the way. No hands in the way, no twisties. Listen. Yes. Oh, I love being obnoxious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is just perfect placement. I feel like if we're going to add anything, they should all be in the placement away from the hands. Because it just makes it so much more pleasant. So yeah, this one we've gotten before. I do like this design quite a bit. Nothing else to twist or turn. Actually, I don't think we got this one. What's her name? No, we did. Classy Chloe. We did get you, Chloe. This one reminds me a little too much of a fidget cube. All right, this time let's go ahead and try and actually open the pack as it's supposed to be. Good experience so far. The issue aren't the wrappers. The issue really are these ones. Wait. Why am I sticky? <laughs> and let's go. Sometimes they work, other times they just don't. And I don't know what's the difference. Bruh. That's where I give up. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. But you can tear it this way if you don't care for the tab itself. There you go. And who are you? Oh, wow. Okay, you just roll right out. We did get this one before. However, this one. Oh, yes. There you go. And she's a little on the lighter side, so let's go ahead and put our felt. And you can see that the monkey noodles here, or whatever you want to call them, they're really in there. Look at that. There aren't any issues. So we really just got a defective one. This is so fun. I love this. It's just so solid. And it's so well put in. So I'm thinking it's just a manufacturing issue. And here we have the spinner. Again, they don't spin kind of like a fidget spinner. It's really just more of spinning it with your hand like this. So there's no ball bearing. Bearing, I think. I'm doubting myself today. And here we have the stars. Very quiet clicks. Very, very quiet clicks. You know what? I just realized the reason that this one is a little freaky is because the eyes are too round and too open. That's the scary part. Whereas you can see her eyes are a little softer, a little bit more oval. This is way too round, too porcelain and dull for me. And what else do we get? So we have this, we have the spinnies, and then we have this one also spins. Oh, voila. And then you can also do the poppets. And it does have a nice texture. You can actually feel the texture as you're pushing it in. And let's hear that. That feels nice. That sounds good. I'm glad there's nothing in for the hands, but you do have to turn it. Luckily, it does turn if you want to get the poppets all the way around. But it does have a satisfying sound. Let's go again. Although not as satisfying as Nancy. Nancy, you're good. You're good to me. Come on, monkey noodle. Because I think we got all the variations, right? Let's double check. Yeah, we got the one with the spinny side. We got this one. We got that one. Yeah, we got all of them except a proper version with the monkey noodle one. So we have So Chic Cindy. This alliteration hurts me. Why are you going to have an SH sound next to an S sound? That doesn't work that way. So it should be like Chic Chinique or Chic. Now I can't think of SH names, CH names. Chic. Oh no, I can't think of them. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. Well, chic what? Chic? Yeah, Shanique is the only name I can think of. I went to school with a Shanique. That's all I know. Don't at me, just educate me, okay? Provide. Come on. If y'all need help with series two, I'm available too. Are you? This looks different. Oh no! It's the same one that we just previously got, but a different color. Which is fine too. Again, I want them to be different. Okay, you know what? I'm just removing this. Those charms are really in the way for me. Let's go. There we go. All right, so here we have the monkey noodles. Again, absolutely phenomenal quality over here. They don't. There you go. It's absolutely phenomenal quality. You can pull them all you want. And then here we have the spinny. Same thing. Star is very quiet, most likely. And the answer is, yeah, very quiet. Oh, this side is a little less quiet, but this side is definitely quiet. Yeah, not my favorite. And then we have the texture on the poppet. 
there we go and nothing else to fidget with so it's similar to the previous one we definitely need that other one which means We have one last chance at trying to get the one that tore from us. Let's pray to the fidget fashion gods. Dear fidget fashion gods of Evermore, please protect me from triples, bad alliteration names, and broken bits. But also, just give me more monkey noodles. We're gonna relish this opening, and but we're not gonna, we're not gonna. Don't be difficult. We're just gonna open it this way, because I do like this one. Listen. Voila. Oh, I think we may have gotten it. I think so. Let's find out. My room is a mess right now. You have no idea how bad it is. Okay, let's see, please. Yes! Oh my god! How lucky! Ermi cured! Gods of Evermore have listened. I appreciate the gods of Evermore. <laughs> Okay, 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 hang on. Let's remove the charm so that we can enjoy her in her full glory. She is pretty. I love the greens. Does she have a terrible name? Let's find the green hair. Oh no, it's Brilliant Brie. Yeah, yeah, this time it is actually Brilliant Brie, the cheese. Okay, let's see if it is a defect with the design itself. Oh, it is. Oh no. Oh no! So it is the design itself the problem. Because all the other ones with the swirlies were totally fine. But this one, oh no! Mrs. Bench, get back to Wowee! Definitely tell them that they need to fix the one with the monkey noodles, because we got two of them, and two of them so far have broken right off. That is a pity! <gasps> I spoke to Mrs. Bench about this and she has been made aware, so she's going to be contacting them to let them know to fix it. Let's hear the clicks. Very nice with the circles. And the spinny. Yeah, very nice still. And the spinning down here. Still very nice. Let's hear the poppets. The hand is in the way. Definitely even towards the front. It's kind of annoying. This one. It pops nice. But I'm really sad. I'm really sad that the ones with the monkey noodles in the back, not the curly ones, but the ones that are straight, just have broken off. Oh, that one's a good spin. So if you ever do get any of these ones and they do come off, don't let it go. Call the company. Let them replace it for you because, again, this is a premium toy and the quality is supposed to be good because we've never had any of them break, but it's only this specific design. And this is what they were supposed to look like. Yeah, they're a little bit more firm, so I'm guessing they have a hard time keeping them straight up without breaking, so. Too bad. I'm gonna tell Mrs. Bench. I'm gonna text her right after this video. And so here are all the fidget fashions. I'm gonna mess up the name <laughs> that we got this time. I think we've covered almost all of them. We're only missing maybe one or two more, or maybe not. Feel like we got all of them. And if you are interested to pick up your own, I will leave all the information down below. Mrs. Bench, I really do appreciate this. We definitely have to get to the bottom of why one of them is just not working. If you want to watch more fidget toy reviews, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something like more mystery boxes, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.